Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your body, and I want to make this your experience. Now, about 10 million women have a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS. And if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with this, I want to give you a way out. I've had so many women come to me over the years with this condition, and we've been able to reverse it with diet and exercise and a different way of thinking. The standard medical approach, of course, is drugs, particularly birth control pills or something to stabilize blood sugar, known as metformin. Let's start with what is PCOS? Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age. The signs and symptoms are this. There are many little cysts underneath the surface of the ovarian capsule that look like little circles on ultrasound. It's a thickening of the outer surface of the ovary. Women who have it do not ovulate properly. Most, about 80%, have anovulatory infertility, and anovulatory infertility is, be is because of PCOS. It typically is associated with infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods, and there's an excess of androgens, the male hormone. The development of PCOS comes around the time of the first menstrual period during puberty, sometimes later, in response to substantial weight gain. The symptoms are more severe if you are obese. It's associated with insulin resistance, though some women are not overweight, but they have trouble losing weight if they are overweight. There's excess hair growth on the face and body, known as hirsutism. Occasionally, she will have severe acne and male pattern baldness an apple-shaped figure. The diagnosis is made on pelvic exam, blood tests, hormone levels, fasting, glucose, sonogram, and the exact cause of PCOS is not known. Early diagnosis is better, and it also includes weight loss if possible. You can reverse the pattern, and you can uh, reduce the risk of long-term complications by getting on it quickly. Otherwise, it can lead to type 2 diabetes and heart disease. The standard medical approach, as I've said, is drugs, often several. This approach can be right for some women. The combination of birth control pills, skin patch or vaginal ring, uh, clomiphene, clomid, sometimes helps with ovulation, letrozole, femara, these are um, other treatments. Breast cancer treatment is known to stimulate the ovaries. Uh, gonadotropins are a second line of treatment for infertility. Recombinant follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. Human menopausal gonadotropin, HMG or metformin, glucophage, uh, also help stabilize blood sugar. So these are the drugs that many women are given. Sometimes they're given statins for high cholesterol, spironolactone for acne. This blocks the effects of androgen on the skin, but it can cause birth defects. Then there's um, Vaniqua, which slows facial hair growth in some women, that's a cream. Now, what are the lifestyle treatments? These can be very effective and they carry no risk. You reduce excess insulin. Dr. David Ludwig is an endocrinologist at Boston Children's Hospital. He's written a book called Always Hungry. You limit simple carbohydrates and sugar. You eat complex carbohydrates and resistant starches. You start to exercise, and his program has been clinically shown to treat or even prevent insulin resistance and help with weight control and also PCOS. Also, try acupuncture and herbs. Acupuncture can help a lot by treating the re root causes of PCOS. Herbs can help regulate the menstrual cycle and aid in weight loss. Write down the phases of the moon in your calendar. Help get your body in touch with your cyclic nature your emotions and PCOS. So PCOS is associated in some women with being too driven in the outer world. So see if you can make your life more relaxed. Women with PCOS appear to have more anxiety, more depression. So reduce stress and then the stress hormones will also be reduced. Um, when you have too much estrogen, in the face of too, men, too high blood sugar and too much insulin, it turns into testosterone. In other words, your body's estrogen in the face of excess stress hormones and excess blood sugar 
will send your metabolic pathways down the male hormone pattern, sort of more aggressive out in the world. So try mindfulness, mindfulness yoga, meditation, and if your energy is more outward, balance it by doing things to support receiving, the receiving energy. Use positive affirmations to improve your body image. There's a, so much you can do to heal from PCOS. I've seen so many women do it. There's so much more to this than just being handed birth control pills or metformin. So for more information and tips, visit my blog, exploredrnorthrop.com, where you will find wisdom for your body, mind, and spirit. Visit daily to discover the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, physical health, and life circumstances. And remember, whether you have PCOS or something else, there's so much you can do to take control of your own health and make profound changes.